of the Committee of Arclo Music and Art scene are putting on an Arclo 1916 Remembers. And uh, the Secretary of the group, Colm Cavanagh, is here to tell us more. Colm, good morning. Good morning, Declan. How are you? Okay, thank you. So when is all this happening? Uh, Friday week, May the 6th, at 1916 exactly. Oh, look look at that. What? There's the sales pitch in straight away. So why in May when most of activities are in April? Well, we like to commemorate uh, the 16 men who were executed all happened in the first week in May and well aware of the state commemorations we decided May was the time to do it and it, it ties Very in good. just nicely with that week so there's a bit of poignancy with that so that was, that was our main intention and that's what we're running with it's So what's happening? What's not happening? Well, we've got over 200 performers on the night. There's a lot of local talent uh, going to take to the stage. I find it very hard calling a stage because we have to be very thankful that Father Cosgrove has given us the use of the church. We have over 200 performers uh, on the night and hopefully a crowd of about 800 in excess of thereabouts on the night. Very eclectic mix. Uh, you have a very talented young band here in studio alongside me going to play a song a few minutes from now. Uh, we have... Uh, Celtic Trinity, Baru, fear I'm going to not name a few here, but my sister, Neve Penston, her two daughters, they're involved. Uh, John and Dennis Nolan, there's a lot, an awful lot of local talent uh, is going to take the stage that night. And it's just going to give just a, a brief, a brief little glimpse into the world of the talent that's in the town that a lot of people, that they just don't know that's there. The town is awash with talent. It's something that we have championed for the last couple of years. Um, any genre, we have a lot of leaders in, in their fields. Recently had Fesh Kjol, for example, two local choirs uh, ended in the overall choir competition yeah. of the year. So it's just an idea of what's out there in the town. And I mean, traditionally, people look at our clubs uh, uh, with this maritime heritage and therefore. So oh, music as well. I music, mean, I would put yeah. music right at the very, Absolutely. very top. And you're well aware of that. You've had many an Arclough person sit across from me here um, playing for you or whatever. But um, so. I'm coming at it from the point of view that Arklow badly, badly needs a theatre. Um, far too often you hear of people hosting events in other towns because Arklow just does not have the facility. And again, it's not lost on us that we're having to use a church because we don't have a venue. And I'll give you another example a couple of years ago. Uh, after my own mother passed, we, ha- we had a, our family, Neve, my sister, who was the prime, primary driver. We had the National Concert Hall and that was a great night for Arklo as well as what we did for the family but it was a great night for Arklo uh, so many Arklo people supported and rode in behind us and that's just one instance the Silver Band themselves they've had concerts in the NCH we don't have a facility in yeah, town yeah that's a shame isn't it I think the time is right Declan uh, there seems to be a momentum swinging um, you know, there's a lot of, lot of goodwill uh, people coming in behind us that sense now is a time uh, on many levels that Arklo does need commercially it could enhance the mm. town centre Are there any places any venues any brownfield sites any buildings that could be converted well, how far away would you be? Oh we're, we're a long way from getting, getting our achievement uh, it's not bricks and mortar just yet there are, many, there are quite a few sites that have been identified within the town centre and again there will be one or two just outside but uh, so we, need, we need to get everyone around the table and yeah. talking and ultimately so uh, maybe when times are better we, it's going we, to we'll see yeah. it's going to so uh, is, it, is it just a concert and I know it's huge it's probably it's the biggest thing concert. in the county is it that's right, by far and away uh, yeah. said, uh, we're hoping to have a crowd of 800 uh, there's 200 performers um, it, 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 it's, it's just um, a, li- a little glimpse for want of a better word, into what talent we have in the town. I mean, there's so much talent that's not even on the bill for the night. Yeah. But it's just the way it is. Now, we're hoping, it's it's a fundraiser drive for uh, uh, the Arctic Music and Arts Group. And from that, we, we take it on to the next event. We have, a, we have a lot of events lined up over the next year. So as we need to grow and gain support, work with the pro- public sector, private sector, and that's what we hope to, to gain. And as well, we're providing with uh, the Facebook page that Arctic Music and Arts have. There's over two 2,100 members. It's a great vehicle for people to to use, to show their talents, show their wares, show their works, and particularly the youth uh, from, from all backgrounds, to gain the confidence to actually p- post something that's your work. I mean, it's not lost on me of a group that have a song of their own here. You know, it's, yeah. and it's great that you're giving them that, that, that stage to perform we like to do that uh, on a more localised basis um, so that's basically where we're at at the minute but ultimately we need a performance arts space theatre education yeah. in the town so are you selling tickets for uh, we are indeed. May the 6th? we are indeed uh, tickets are 15 euro a pop as I say uh, we have four venues in town where they've been sold that's the Pottery Shop McMullins on Main Street Kenny's at the Harbour down Lower Main Street and my own business cabinets on the Wexford Road. 
and on, on any committee member as well which you can contact us via our Facebook page for ticket sales and I would state at this stage we've sold about 70% of tickets we don't want anyone leaving to the last minute <laughs> it's, it's our biggest fear <laughs> they be gone <laughs> it's our biggest fear Declan that people will leave it too late right and uh, you know you can there's a certain amount you can put into the church and then yes, it has to close yes. the door yeah without doubt and again <laughs> we, we, it's not lost on us that we're having to use a church right and yeah. again our thanks go to Father Martin Cosgrove for 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 affording this opportunity to host such a concert Very now we column. genuinely believe it's going to be a great night musically ok so put in your diary space. for Friday May the 6th and it starts at 1916 on the dot very good now amongst uh, those taking part we have a talented group of musicians here and they are small town crisis hello there hey hi all from Arclo yeah, yeah do you want to shout out your name uh, I'm Dara Black I'm Sean Fox I'm Olivia Sheehy I'm Dara Gavin I'm <laughs> okay, do we get your name? I'm Jack Hamlin. Howdy, Jack. How is it going? I'm good. Right, and how long have you been together? You better answer you're closer to a mic. Sarah. Um, since almost a year. Yeah. What was it, like late May is yeah. when we formed? Not June. June, even? Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's what I joke. And where do you play? Anywhere that'll let us play. <laughs> okay, they're available. Right, uh, but, and you like to Are play? We playing anywhere soon. We're playing. Coffin Shed Rotary. Coffin yeah. Shed on Thursday and then we're playing the Cycle for Suicide in St. Mary's on Saturday. next Saturday I think it is Right and on May the 6th where are you playing? On May the 6th we're playing the 1916 Centenary Concert in Arklow Way right okay let's hear the music of Small Town Crisis Falling 
children fall, they fall and now they don't make a sound. Ah, nice ending, um, because the subject of that is... Yeah. Which one of us wants to take this one? <laughs> Sean. Uh, nice. You is, wrote it, Sean. You? It's well, we wrote it with Sam Ali, uh, uh, Dara, Dara, Jack, and me, and Olivia, and Kat, who couldn't make it today. But the actual idea of the song is to represent this the silence of how, um, like, the children of 1916 Rising were never really spoken of in history. And we got the uh, the original idea when Avon asked us to write it about Joe Duffy's book where he mentioned all the 40 children that died and there's actually two children named in it and they don't even know their name. That's right, yeah. So you wanted to remember that. Yeah, and the 40 pins represent the silence. The pi- You can almost hear a pin drop. Yeah, and that's the way you end the song in that arrangement, yep. just to stop. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. It's Small Town Crisis. And you can hear them again on May the 6th in the Remembering 1916 for our club. Well done, lads. Thank and you. Olivia. Thank you. So Thank thanks, you. For, thanks for coming in. That sounded great. Thanks for having us. Some local talent from our club. Thank you very much. So once again, it's May the 6th uh, in uh, the church, St. Peter's and Paul, is it? Uh, it is in, in, uh, in there. And it starts at 1916, exactly on the dot. Thank you.